This is a video walkthrough for practice 3C. So um, we are going to choose the equations in number one that have the ordered triple 2 comma 1 comma negative 4 as a solution. And uh, we're going to show the supporting work here. So what that means is we're just checking each equation to see if 2 comma 1 comma negative 4 works in the equation. So when I replace x with 2, y with 1, and z with negative 4, we're going to see if that equals negative 1 in equation that's given an a. So 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 minus 4 is negative 1, check. So uh, this one, the answer is yes, 2 comma negative, 2 comma 1 comma negative 4 is a solution. Let's check b. 2 minus 1 minus negative 4 equal to negative 3. 2 minus 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 plus 4 is not negative 3. So this one does not satisfy the equation. So no, it's not a solution to the equation in B. Now, the next equation in C, replace x with 2, y with 1, and z with negative 4. And that gives us 4 minus 1 plus negative 4 is equal to negative 1. That would be 3 plus negative 4 is equal to negative 1. And that does work. So yes, it's a solution to the equation in C. One left to check. When x is 2, y is 1, and z is negative 4, we can check the arithmetic here. Negative 2 minus 3 plus 4 is equal to negative 1. Negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5 plus 4 is negative 1. That is true. So yes, it's a solution to the equation in D. Now we're going to use this result to uh, determine if 2 comma 1 comma negative 4 is a solution of the system below. You'll notice that the system contains three of the four equations in uh, exercise one. And uh, the first equation is the equation from A. The second is the equation from B. And the third is the equation from C. So it is not a solution. So 2 comma 1 comma negative 4 is not a solution of the system. since it only satisfies, that means makes the equation true, and it only satisfies A and C, but not B. If it were a solution to the system, it would have to satisfy all three. In 3 through 8, we will solve each system using an algebraic method. And I'm going to number my equations, numbers 1, 2, and 3. And what you'll notice is that equation 2 has only one variable. So let's take that equation and let's solve that for y. Dividing by 2, y is 5. And then what you can also notice is that equation 1 has only two variables. So equation number 1 has x plus y is equal to 3. And since y is 5, then x plus 5 is equal to 3. Subtracting 5, we get x is equal to negative 2. Next, let's take the equation that has all three variables in it, which is equation 3. Equation 3 is 3x plus 2y minus 3z is equal to 1. And we can replace the x with negative 2 and the y with 5 and then solve the equation for z. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. 2 times 5 is 10. Simplifying that gives us 4 minus 3z is equal to 1. Subtracting 4, negative 3z is equal to negative 3 and z is equal to 1. So now we have an ordered triple 
x comma y comma z. That satisfies the system of equations. In exercise number four, I'm going to number the equations again, one, two, and three. And what I immediately notice is that z's are easily canceled out if we use equation and one and two as a pair. So adding equation one, x plus minus y plus z is equal to negative four and equation two three x plus two y minus c is equal to five we add those together we get four x plus y is equal to one and then we can also really easily take equation one and three and add those two together so equation one x minus y plus z is equal to negative 4 and equation 3 negative 2x plus 3y minus z is equal to 15. Let's add those equations together. That'll give us negative x plus 2y equals 11. Now we have a system of equations using equations 4 and 5 that have only the variables x and y in them. So now if we pick those and try to eliminate a variable, I'll eliminate y. You may do this differently, but this is the solution method that I'm choosing. So I'm going to eliminate y by taking equation number 4 and multiplying it by negative 2. So negative 2 times equation 4. Let's go ahead and do that. That would give us negative 8x minus 2y equals negative 2. And then bringing down equation 5 as is, negative x plus 2y is equal to 11. Adding the equations together, negative 9x is equal to 9. And that gives us an x value of negative 1. Let's choose one of the equations. And I'll choose equation 4 to replace x with negative 1. And that gives us negative 4 plus y is equal to 1. Adding 4, y is 5. And now we need the variable z. So I'll choose equation 1 and replace x with negative 1, y with 5. And then we can solve for z. So that gives us negative 6 plus z is equal to negative 4. It's supposed to be a negative 4. And then adding 6, z is equal to 2. So our solution is an ordered triple in the form negative 1, comma, 5, comma, 2. In number five, I'm going to choose to eliminate the x variables this time. So I'm going to take equations number one and two and combine them together. But I'm going to multiply equation number two times two. And so equation number one brought down is 2x plus 2y plus z is equal to one. Equation number 2 gets multiplied by 2. That gives us negative 2x plus 2y plus 4z is equal to 6. Adding the equations together, now the x's have opposite coefficients. And adding, we get 4y plus 5 times z is equal to 7. We can call that equation number four. Now I'm going to take equations. Um, let's see, what shall we do? Uh, how about two and three? And if we add together equations two and three as is, the x's will go away as well. And 
adding, we get 3y plus 6z is equal to 3. All right. Now, one thing that I can do um, is perhaps uh, divide this equation by 3, or both sides of this equation by 3, and that would give us y plus 2z is equal to 1. <coughs> Let's call that equation 5. I did that because it makes the number smaller and therefore a little bit easier to work with. So now, if I choose to eliminate the y variable, we can use equations 4 and 5 together, but multiply equation 5 times negative 4. So bringing down equation 4, 4y plus 5z is equal to 7, and negative 4 times equation 5, negative 4y minus 8z is equal to negative 4. Adding the equations together, negative 3 times z is equal to 3. That's going to give us a z value of negative 1. And we can use any of the uh, equations that have just two variables in them. Now to find the value of y, I'm going to use equation 5. So y plus 2 times negative 1 is equal to 1, or y minus 2 is equal to 1. Adding 2, that gives us a y value of 3. Now we just need the value of x. I'm going to choose equation 3 since it has a 1x in it and replace x with, uh, don't replace x that is, replace y with 3, so x plus 2 times 3, plus 4 times the z value, which was negative 1, equals 0. So x plus 6 minus 4 is equal to 0, or x plus 2 is equal to 0. That gives us an x of negative 2. And so now our ordered triple solution is negative 2, comma, 3, comma, negative 1. Don't forget to put parentheses around your ordered triple. In exercise 6, I've numbered the equations 1, 2, and 3. This time, I think I'm going to take and eliminate the variable z. We can take equations 1 and 2 and combine them, and multiply equation 2 by negative 1, and that will eliminate the z variable. Equation 1 is 2x minus 3y plus z is equal to 5, and negative 1 times all the terms in equation 2, negative x minus y minus z equal to 0, adding x minus 4y is equal to 5. Let's call that equation number 4. And similarly, let's take and combine together equations 1 and 3. And we can multiply equation 1 by negative 2. So equation number 1 multiplied by negative 2 gives us negative 4x plus 6y minus 2z equal to negative 10, and equation 3 as is 2x plus y plus 2z equal to 2, and adding the equations together, negative 2x plus 7y is equal to negative 8. So now let's call that equation 5, and now we can combine 4 and 5 together. But I'm going to take and multiply equation number 4 times 2. So all the terms in equation 4 multiplied by 2 give us 2x minus 8y is equal to 10. And equation 5 as is, negative 2x plus 7y equal to negative 8. Adding the two equations together, we get negative y is equal to 2. So dividing by negative 1, y is negative 2. Now let's plug that into either one of the two equations with two variables. I'll choose equation 4, 
x minus 4 times negative 2 is equal to 5. So x plus 8 is equal to 5. Subtracting 8, x is negative 3. Now we just need the z variable, and I'm going to choose the easiest equation, I think, which is equation number 2. So x plus y plus z is equal to 0. So negative 5 plus z is equal to 0. Adding 5, z is 5. It gives us an ordered triple of negative 3, comma, negative 2, comma, positive 5. Don't forget to put parentheses around your ordered triple. In exercise 7, I've numbered the equations 1, 2, and 3. And since uh, one of the equations already has x eliminated, that is equation 2 has only y and z in it, I'm going to take equations 1 and 3, and I'm going to eliminate the x's there as well. So I'll multiply equation number 1 times negative 1. Doing that, we get negative 4x plus y minus 2z is equal to negative 5. And equation 3 as is, 4x plus y plus 3z is equal to 10. Adding the equations together, 2y plus z is equal to 5. Now, let's call that equation 4. And now I'm going to take equations 2 and 4 and combine them together in order to get one of the variables to go away. Let's try to make z go away. So equation 2 and equation 4, which only have y and z in them. So let's multiply equation 4 times negative 1. So equation 2 is 2y plus z is equal to 4. And equation 4 times negative 1 is negative 2y minus z is equal to 5. Adding those equations together, we get 0 on the left side of the equation. That means that the variables completely went away. And on the right side, 4 plus 5 is 9. That's a statement that is never true. Therefore, this system must have no solution. For exercise number 8, we have, have numbered the equations 1, 2, and 3, and it seems fairly straightforward to make the uh, y's go away, uh, although you could choose different variables. So let's just take equation 1 and 2 as is, add them together. So x plus y plus z is equal to 8, and 2x minus y minus z is equal to 10, and add those together. And that will give us 3 times x, and the y's add up to 0. The z terms add up to 0 as well, so it just gives us 3 times x is equal to 18, which gives us x is equal to 6. That may or may not happen depending upon which method you use. I just lucked into that. Um, and so now we're going to need to again make y or z go away in a different pair of equations. So uh, let's take and combine 1 and 3 together, this time multiplying equation 1 times 2. So multiplying equation 1 times 2, we get 2x plus 2y plus 2z is equal to 16. And then equation 3 as is, x minus 2y minus 3z is equal to 22. Adding the equations together, 3x minus z equals 38. Okay, we can take our value of x and replace it in that equation. Uh, 
with 6. So 3 times 6 minus z is equal to 38. So 18 minus z equals 38. Now subtracting 18 from both sides, we get negative z is equal to 20, and z must be negative 20. And now we just need the value of y, and I'm going to pick equation number 1 to do that, since it has a 1y in it. So replace x with 6, leave y in place, and replace z with negative 20, and that gives us y minus 12 is equal to 8, and adding uh, 12 we get, uh, sorry, that is wrong, gives us y minus 14 is equal to 8. Adding 14, that gives us y is equal to 22. So the ordered triple is 6 comma 22 comma negative 20. This is going to be an unusual one. It is usually you're going to have integer values anywhere from negative 9 to positive 9. That is single digit integer uh, values for your solutions. That's what you can expect on a quiz. All right, that is our last uh, exercise. See you in class.